What's going on, good people? Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the assembly for a Pro PT600 power tower. It is a workout machine um, that I had to assemble for a customer. Here we go. All right, this particular machine, I like I said, I had to go and assemble it for a customer. I don't have the specifics of like how long they, how much it cost or anything of that nature. But I did, once I started opening the packaging and following the assembly instructions, it did show a reference to Dick's Sporting Goods. So uh, if you are interested in that, you probably can get that from Dick's Sporting Goods. And so this is the box. I did not take as many pictures as I normally do when I do these type of videos. Um, that's just something, a uh, mistake on my end. Uh, but this is the finalized machine, you know, once it is assembled. And so it has multiple workout, uh, that multiple workouts that you can do on here. And so this, uh, uh, I guess, cushion here, actually, um, it goes here on the back, but it can also go down here on the bottom. As you see, there's this uh, support here and support here. So you can take it off and then put it down there and then use it as a uh, knee pad of sorts to do other workouts on the machine. And so uh, the machine for this, uh, for as large as it is, the assembly was relatively easy to do. I was able to complete everything in about an hour. Uh, majority of the bolts are the same. So it has uh, pretty much every bolt that you see here um, with the exception of probably about six, maybe eight of them are exactly the same. So it's very difficult to uh, make a mistake when trying to assemble this because of the fact there's so there's a lot of the same parts um, that go on the majority of the machine. And for these bolts that are here is pretty much a bolt. You put a washer on one end, you slide it through wherever it's supposed to go. Then you put a washer on the other end and then you put a uh, nut on the end of that bolt. And all the nuts on here are locking nuts um, so that they do not back out easy as you are doing the workouts or whatever the case. Um, I did do a couple of reps on it and it was able to hold me, uh, you know, fine. Um, the maximum capacity, according to the assembly instructions, is 300 pounds for this particular machine. The bars here, the pull up bars where you can do your, I believe you do your dips. Uh, these actually do come out this orange ball here and there's one on the other side. Um, you pull these out and then these drop down so that you have more space to do your pull-ups, which is up here. Um, as I mentioned, you can move this from this position down to the bottom here. And then you also have like things where you can do like leg curls and so forth. So it's useful. Um, I actually have considered getting one of these myself just to be able to do some body weight workouts. Um, but it was fairly easy to assemble, like I say, in and out in about an hour. I did have to use my hammer drill. I probably could have gotten away with using like a socket wrench or um, just a regular wrench to tighten up the nuts and bolts. But given that those lock those lock washers on, on there pretty strongly. And so pretty much every time I went to go and tighten the bolts on here, the hammer function like immediately almost kicked in uh, just to put the nut on the bolt. So uh, I think it's pretty sturdy on here. I did take care to make sure that those were not too tight that it actually, that the hammer drill didn't tighten so tight that it actually started bending the metal. But the metal, uh, I think I may have over drilled it just a little bit on some of them, but the metal did not flex after maybe a little bit over tightening those. Um, the only other, I guess, concern about this is so when you're putting this together, uh, the instructions do have like written steps, um, because I'm so used to putting the, you know, furniture and other assemblies together without actually reading the written steps. I was able to do it strictly just off the photos, the diagrams on there are pretty clear on how you're supposed to assemble it and what bolt goes where, um, 
the, the only thing I will say is, uh, I will add to that, that the instructions also mentioned that you are supposed to assemble everything hand tighten only in the beginning. And that's what I did. So I got all the bolts in and hand tightened them so that they didn't, you know, the whole thing didn't fall back apart as I was still assembling, assembling it. And then once I got the whole assembly together, then I started on the side over here, starting and making my way from one bolt all the way around and then came back on the other side and did the same thing. And everything worked out fine. The rubber feet that you see here was already attached to the uh, metal supports here. So I didn't even have to do that part. It was literally just put in all the bolts. So screw, I had, I did have to secure these uh, arm wrist pads on the uh, horizontal supports here and this back pad to this cross plate here. Um, but other than that, everything else was straightforward. Didn't have to paint or anything of that nature. So this is just a walkthrough of how, you know, easy it was to assemble this. Um, fairly straightforward. If you have any questions about this particular product assembly, feel free to drop a question or your comment down in the comment section below. Um, if you are checking out the channel for a first time, uh, please be sure to subscribe. And most importantly, please give this video a thumb up if you have enjoyed this content. Until next time, peace out.